Job burnout doesn't happen overnight. It creeps up on you like the frog in a pot of warm water who realizes that the water is heating to a boil, but then it's too late. One morning in 2008, I was lying in bed staring at the ceiling and I was supposed to be at work running the company. One of my kids walked into the bedroom and said, Dad, what are you doing here? Get to work, we're counting on you. But I was burned out. I had been running the company for over 20 years and I had not taken good enough care of myself. I got a wake up call that morning. Del Suggs said, burnout occurs when your body and mind can no longer keep up with the tasks you demand of them. So what can we do to help prevent burnout in our pressure cooker lives? Well, here's a few things I've learned and I hope they help you. The first thing is to give yourself me time. It can be exercising, which I think is a must, working on a passion project or getting a hobby or spending time in quiet reflection. I recommend meditation for that. It'll reduce the stress of burnout. Next, get better at saying no. When you feel yourself starting to burn out, you need to simplify. Focus on only the necessary tasks and don't take on any additional ones. Third, seek help. It's okay to, seek, uh, to succeed alone, but you don't want to fail because you are alone. Surround yourself with supportive people you can be open with. If you can, seek professional help. Most therapists are trained to help get you through your spiral and give you the tools to help you get back on track. Breaking the momentum of burnout requires a combination of self-care, stress management, and lifestyle changes. By prioritizing your well-being, you can prevent burnout and create a more sustainable and fulfilling career in life. So, here's your action item and mission should you decide to accept it. Do you feel like you don't have time to think and the pressure to get everything done is draining all your energy and happiness? Try what I just suggested. All three helped me, and I'm confident they'll help you. When I couldn't get out of bed that morning, I realized I needed to make some changes, fast. There was too much at stake for me, and for my family. Don't wait for the water to start boiling. Take action now, and keep the momentum of what you are meant to do moving full steam ahead. Please share this if you think others would benefit from making sure they don't burn out. Remember, one hand washes the other, and together they get clean. Thank you for watching. Have a really rewarding week, and I'll see you next time. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. With just a couple of clicks, you could be helping thousands of people. Thanks.